Ah yes, this looks familiar. What's up everybody, welcome back to the Chaos. My name is Vlad the Tech and today we're gonna to be playing some more Made of Scar. Now, last time we were told to hold our breath because cultists apparently can't see you or something like that, or these people in particular can't see you. So we left off right outside here. And uh, we also learned that there is a health system that uh, we didn't know about. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's how we hold our breath. So, we're going to proceed really slowly and really cautiously, which I have always been good at, I think. I like to believe I'm good at it. I hear a dog. Dog, shut up. We're trying to sneak. We're trying to sneak, and it'll be very hard to sneak with you barking. Okay, I just wanted to... I just really wanted to inspect this quaint little corner over here. All right, so... And once again, I've got a bright light shining in my face with a... <gasps> Dark video game, I see him over there! I see you! Can't fool me. Hello? Alright. Shh. I don't know where they are. Oh, there's a guy over there. Hey. Hello, sir. How are you? He looks very upset. And I don't know why. It wasn't me who did it. Alright, so I'm gonna... Um... I think from here... You can't really... Hear me? That's the hope, anyways. Good news is I collected another music box. Well, actually, I don't even know if that's good news or not. I don't know why the hell I'm collecting these music boxes. No one ever bothered to explain that to me. Oh. He is rather close. Well, good news. He cannot hear me. For I am silent. I am so quiet and so sneaky. That, uh, you will never know. Why do I hear horror music? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, that would have been bad if I lost track of him. All right. Holding my breath again. And I should probably pick that up. Where is the guy? Okay. All right, so we got a thing. I can read it, thankfully. All right. I hear whispers of the Williams family and their evil deeds they have committed. There, are, there's too many, too much. There's too much English in this letter. There's too much circumstance to suggest they are not honest men. Okay, the leaders of the of these criminals, Jebediah, Jebediah Williams, and the head of the Williams family. They are. They are more than humble fishermen with deep pockets. It is unusual and suspicious. I am sure they are the cause of the missing ships around Scar Island in the recent years. The poor lost souls of each vessel coll collateral for lining their pockets. Hidden on their land, I am going to find the truth. R the rumors must have some, some morsel of truth to them. The Williams family are smugglers, wreckers, and murderers. I will expose them and the good people will know the truth. Well, good luck with that. Um, I'm. St hey, man, don't mind me. Um, just some schmuck. All right, come on, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Am I in a good place? Oh my God, you're close. Will you hear me from here? <laughs> Apparently not. You're blind as shit, and you're deaf as shit. Walk away, please. I'm still... Shut up, dog. By the way, reading that letter actually kind of reminded me of something that somebody asked me. I was actually asked um, in the comment section of Lobotomy Corporation. Thank you, orchestra. But I was actually asked just recently if I was dyslexic in the comment section of Lobotomy Corporation. 
By the way, no, I'm not dyslexic. I just have a problem communicating. My brain has issues telling my mouth and my voice what I am trying to, what is being read by my eyes. For some reason, there's a weird, it's a whole weird thing. Like, I can process information in my head faster than I can actually get it out of my mouth. And when I try to speak at the same speed I'm reading, I trip myself up a lot. So that's why it, that's why I stumble across my words a lot. <laughs> what are you coughing for? Jesus Christ, you need to stop smoking, dude. Oh, God. Why? Why was that? Why was any of that? Why did you feel like now was the perfect time to fucking cough up a lung? <laughs> Shut up. It's just a campfire. Oh, my God. You're going to get us both killed. Well, you're going to get yourself killed, and then I'm going to be mad at you, but I'm not going to die. It's a hard concept to explain, I know, yeah. Okay, so... Can I open this? Oh, apparently not. Shut up. Oh, we're fine. We're fine, you're not gonna die. It's just a little smoke. I mean, you're definitely a smoker with them lungs. If a little campfire's irritating you. Alright, where am I? Where am I? Which way is forward? I found the dog. I don't know if it's friendly. Holy crap. Um, okay, I'm going to assume that there are going to be people here wanting to kill me very, very soon. Well, <clears throat> and I don't... I keep hearing footsteps. That's a very Resident Evil 7 thing to do. Make me hear footsteps when really there's no one around. It's also a cheap shot at a, at a suspenseful moment. And I think the reason why they do it is because it works. I just don't... I mean, I like it, but I don't... It, it piss. I like it, but it kind of pisses me off just a little bit. I also can't see a fucking thing because there's light shining in my eye. All right, this is a great place to hide. Okay, so I'm gonna have to whoop. Gonna have to move past the glowing, nice fire that apparently strangles me. All right, and wait a few seconds. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. You can't even walk past the damn thing without coughing. Come on, man. Thought you were better than that. <gasps> All right. All right. So we need to get a lay of the land real quick. Are the candles going to make me cough? I'm kind of curious because... Well... Hello? Should I be following the dog? Why are the graves all steamy? What is this shiz? Prudence. Hi, Prudence. I know you're, like, way the fuck down there somewhere, but hi, Prudence. Okay. I think... I'm not sure, but I'm... Fairly certain, yeah, I walked the wrong direction. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, it gives me a chance to explore, probably find a music box or two. Or... Something. Shush. I don't know what dog that is, but I am fairly certain he is here to sabotage me. All right, so can I say to myself that I have completely explored this area yet? Yeah. Well, I'm going to make my way back around and then actually circle back to uh, where we originally came in and actually get on the proper path. 
from there. Hello again, Prudence. It is me. Don't mind me. Just taking a casual walk through the woods. Back in hell. I really, really sometime in the future need to bite the bullet and get myself some proper fucking lights for this. Ooh, yay. I got Healy Juice. And I'm holding my breath, by the way, because I have no idea what's around me. Or who. Um, apparently this doesn't open? What? What? You can't do that to me. I know this opens. Actually, I don't know that it opens. But there's, I mean, there's a ladder there. And that, to me, says this opens. So open! Locked door will only be locked until I break it. Well, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay. Okay, let me have a quick... No map available. Well, frick. That's probably not good, is it? Well, I know that there's nothing here, though. But did I miss anything? I must have missed something, right? Holy shit. How did I... I have... I have ascended. I am... Ooh, that was interesting. Oh, I just now noticed that. That's probably not good. Probably not good at all. Alright. It's gonna be... Slow and deliberate. With... Oh, hello, sir. You are way too close for my comfort. He'll let you get pretty damn close, apparently, before he... gets too suspicious. Okay. Okay, bud. You go that way. I'll go this way. And, uh... No problems. Yeah, alright. So, I don't know what good this is going to do me, but I'm now on the other side. I'm basically just backtracking like fucking crazy right now. Because I ran out of ideas. I There's shit behind here. Or maybe this was... Is this an idea? Nope. Game does not allow it. Alright, well I got Healy stuff, so there's the thing. This right here is really unfortunate, but, uh, stuff. All right, so it just says follow the men still. Is this not following the men? Am I in the wrong place? I don't know. I can't tell because I can't freaking see. I need to bite the, like I was saying before, I need to get a, no lady light panel or something that I can actually put up higher than this fucking desk light. I can't see the dude. Oh, there he is. I mean, now that I've saved, I could probably test my luck a little bit. Okay, shoop. I'm assuming that noise there means that I am pretty close to being in deep shit. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Stop worrying that you're slowly passing out. That is not a problem. See? See, we made it through it just fine. I don't know what you were worried about.
Holy shit. I found a hidden place. I found a thing. Oh, wow. That's probably not good. He just said Whales Interactive, and that was it. Is that... That wasn't what I was after, was it? Well... Fuck you, then. Uh, found an Easter egg, but I can't actually find out what the hell I'm actually supposed to be doing. Oh! What the... That was... What? Oh, I was. Um, maybe hold your breath, my man. You're dumb. This is how we die. I've been stumbling around for 28 minutes. Just because I missed that one little detail. It didn't let me... How you doing? Hey. More cosplay ideas. Hold your breath, numbnuts. Well... Well, isn't that just nutty? 30 minutes on this alone. 30 minutes. I've done nothing. I missed that one small detail. Am I running? Because I'm a smoker. I can't handle running. Yeah, just yank it out like a Band-Aid. See, you're fine. You've got plot armor. Or, or plot healing armor. I don't know. I'm irritated. I can't quite, uh... I can't quite, uh... Uh, more reading. Dearest brothers and sisters, the High Council of the Quiet Ones invites you to receive in the power from the song of our source. Together, we will attain true control. Be assured to bring your offerings of flesh and bone, to sacrifice the weakness within, to join us in the ritual of rebirth. Remember your garments of the quiet ones to shield from the weakness, from the weak leeches of the sacrifices. Interesting already. Your beloved silent disciple, Prudence, has volunteered for the position of priestess. This is a high honor for us all. Her position will be anointed at our next gathering of the brothers and sisters. Yours quietly, Jedediah. Jebediah, Jebedadu. So, Prudence is dead. Prudence is dead. I'm pretty sure Prudence is in this hole with me somewhere very fucking dead. All right. Well, that's great to know. And also, there are cults that does human sacrifice. That is... Neat. I'm gonna see if I can. Yeah, yeah, this was a good, good idea. This was a really good idea. But why didn't it just show me beforehand that I could have looked at that? Well and good you saying that, but I don't see why I shall need your assistance. I like it less than you. I have other jobs need attending, but your father insisted. Make sure she practices. She must be ready. His very words. Be ready for what? A death this cult? Era, Human sacrifice? Spinning. So go on with you. Start your second. Said be ready for what? Well, um, Sacrifice. <clears throat> how should I fucking know my brother's mind? Fucking hell, lass. Are you bloody well gonna sing or what? Fine, then. <clears throat>
Oh, well, I was quite enjoying that. Um, on the bright side, we did find a save point, so that's good. All right. So, we can leave now. Yay. All right, so... I know for a fact there's going to be right ways and wrong ways to handle a lot of this stuff. I'm assuming these... Oh, hey! That goes up to that uh, area I saw earlier. So, we're going to have to... I hear the music. Don't breathe. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I'm trying. There's the... Oh, it's the... No, come back. Why did you leave me here? I was enjoying the lovely melodies. Or something. I don't know. They do have a really nice voice. That's probably... That's probably what Elizabeth really is doing here. Shush. You need to stop smoking, my dude. It's really getting painful to try to watch you struggle, stumble through this crap with your smoker lungs. The 3rd of February, 1874. The storm of the century battered the island last night. The men, they say, have spotted a vessel off the coast, and my father has ordered us to extinguish the flames of the beacon. Jesus Christ, I went too far. <clears throat> Word from the men informs me that a ship ran aground on the stone coast, east of Scar Point. Myself in all, at the size of the vessel, engraved on a plaque on the port side of the ship, read his read its name. HMS Providence. 10th of February, 1874. My men under order of my father transferred the remains of the ship into the cavern beneath Scar Point. We salvaged what we could from the ship. Anything of value, most importantly, the contents of the cargo. Of the cargo hold. Sorry. The 11th of February. Something was discovered inside the wreck, buried in the cargo hold. Something I've never seen before. It's alive, and in such a tragic state, my father thinks it's fortunate that it is weak before it tries to sing. Okay, interesting. Is it a siren, by any chance? Unloading the cargo, of some of the men have begun to act strange in the presence of this creature. Its singing seems to even to have an effect on them. Even in the weakened condition, I find, it's, I find this fascinating and need to take notes. Father is becoming concerned. The more I learn about this mindless creature, it seems that the song it sings lures its prey so it can devour and survive. My father, it's a siren. Th this is a cult that is based off of these men finding an actual siren. That is fascinating. My father is beginning to see the potential of this beast and what we can accomplish with its power if we can somehow harness it. 15th of February. Yeah. My father has begun to use the creature upon Scar Point, chained to the beacon to aid in luring vessels here. With this, we can increase our potential earnings from the wrecks. I may have an idea of harnessing this power further. With the help of my beloved Prudence, I will take some time to present this to father and get his blessing. So these guys started a cult claiming the siren was probably claiming that the siren was a god or something. There's a lot of buried treasure here. Can I? I'm rich as hell, bitch. Get, let me take some of these trinkets. I will sell them. I will sell them to the Smithsonian and uh, we will live a life of luxury. Come on. Well, that was interesting. All right. Let's see what you got for me now, game. Ooh. 
super secret, tight corners, this way up. Oh, hey there. Okay, I only see him, but then again, my eyes. <gasps> Go away, dude. I didn't see you there. Okay. All right. I see him. He's the more immediate threat right there. But I think, I think I can just sneak my way around them. Hi, my dude. You gonna mind if I breathe for a second? Oh, wow, you guys are really fucking deaf. Like, <laughs> the guy right there just, like, went like, no, no, no. St ugh, I don't know what I'm doing here. All right. So I can probably go right about... What was that about? Hey, my dude. Okay. So, mm, I kind of see how this plays out. He's sitting there waiting for somebody to flip that switch. So I need to flip something way over here. So if I flip that switch over there, I'm a dead man. not that bad. You'll be fine. Your smoker lungs will be right as rain here in a few minutes, so don't you fucking worry your goddamn little head about that. He looked right over at me. He's... Okay. Oh god, I'm floating again. I have Sundera. All right, I'm just gonna see what happens if I, nope, I cannot flip the switch while holding my breath. Why it is this bullshit? Okay, there's a switch right here I can flip. I don't know if I can do it now. Also, don't know where the other guy is. I'm kind of waiting to see where his head sticks up at. Oh, he just goes and stares at the wall. That's 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 fine by me. That's fine by me. All right. So, what happens if I Okay, so there's no penalty for flipping the switches, even though this these guys are all sound-based enemies. That's uh, peculiar as shit. All right, so I'm going to wait for him to go stare at the wall and walk away. Perfect. I can get pretty close. And... And back away slowly. Okay, need to hold my breath for just a little longer. <sighs> Alrighty. And he will never know because he's blind as fuck. Okay, I think I need to get behind this dude over here, and I don't not entirely sure how I'm gonna do that. Okay, 
Well, now that that's been... Oh, come on. Do the, do the thing. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Oh. That was supposed to happen. Can I? Nope. <coughs> that was the point of that. Okay, got it. So, that's now done. Okay, so that switch has been flippered. So, now what? That was a butt-puckering experience if I ever I did have one. <gasps> oh, shit. Go away. Oh, I'm so dead. I am not here, my dude. I'm just fucking with this dude at this point. The other dude knows where I am now. Okay. I think this is where I'm supposed to go now. But I'm not entirely sure. Now what, now what, now what? Yes, okay. We made it out. That was suspenseful as shit. That light. Sorry. You're gonna have to deal with no face right now. That, that, oof. That was pretty intense. All right. Now that we've been through that fucking shit. And the mess that, then the massive nightmare it was. Now that we know that uh, there is a wee little beastie known as a siren somewhere out here. Not sure where. And they have started a cult. Um, have I even... How am I doing on health? How am I... How am I... I'm doing fine on health. I have not had to heal up, like, at all. I wonder... Wonder why that is. All right, so okay, that was interesting. Oh, hey, I found a. What is this? The blessing douse the follower to cleanse impurities. The prayer expose them to its thrall. The exorcism shield their senses from their song. The rebirth. Arise, new devotee, to the silence. Jedediah William. Jebediah. I keep saying Jedediah. But Jebediah Williams. Ah. Uh, that's, uh. Fascinating, sir. That's fascinating. Maybe I need to. Dong them both. Well, that's a unique. I want a door like that. Can I have a door like that? Somebody get me a door like that. All right. Where the fuck am I now? Haven't I been here? I've, I've definitely been here. Yeah, I have. 
No, I haven't. Okay, in that case, what's back here? If, if you know the... Hello. Alright, so I found an Easter egg, and now I just need to find a save location so that we can uh, actually end this uh, playthrough here. So... things. Okay. I'll be fine. I think I'll be fine. I don't know where I'm going now. Oh. I have to waddle through the woods. How are they not What the fuck? Please, I beg of you. No. Yeah, stop it, Slender Man. Ooh. <sighs> Hold your breath. Okay. Yeah, that was a. Um, can I see my objective update, please? Can I? Um, look for the cylinders. Retreat to the hotel. How do I... Um, how do I... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll just do that. Even though I have no idea where I am, where I'm supposed to go. Oh, there's the dog. Popo. Popo. Come back. The siren's bugging me. Oh, is that it? Is that where I was supposed to go? Oh, I got him sweating. It does get hot up here. I have mentioned that. This, I, uh, there's a, this... My setup is upstairs, where there is no air conditioning at all. So, there's a window unit. That's the best we got. Also, where the hell is the save location? I need one, like, now-ish. Is that blood? Nope, that's just the light. I think it's okay to run for a fucking second. Make up some time, considering I tend to crawl all over the damn place. Hold your breath. You'll be okay. You don't need to breathe. Breathing's for... Fucking wusses. Well, son of a bitch. Where is... Actually, come to think of it, this is probably where a save point would be. Yeah. Yeah, I am right. I am right. I'm always right. I'm usually right. So, let's, uh, let's hear what this, today's phonographic message is. Fucking stinks Get in here. Out. Get this down somewhere. My father does not know that I'm making this recording, but I need to confide in. Well, in you, mother. He has been pushing me, pushing me more and more in my lessons to sing as you once did. But there is something else. There's a mania to his actions of late. He seems consumed with his latest scheme to revive the hotel. But it is more than that, too. Both he and Abraham have been so agitated of late, and they argue more than before. Is Elizabeth a siren? discourse over a guest who had disappeared, I assume without pain. My father was furious that there was nothing that could be salvaged from it. And mother, you have never heard such language. I know our finances are dwindling, and his heart is set on restoring the glory days of Scare Hotel, but... He sets so much on my shoulders. I'm not sure if I can do it, Mother. I'm not sure if I can be you. Okay, well... 
I'm starting to wonder if Elizabeth isn't the descendant of the siren that they were talking about earlier. Because all the portraits of her look humanoid. But we've never seen Prudence. We don't know really know who Prudence is. I'm assuming Prudence is her mother. This is just an assumption, but Prudence, I believe, is her mother. Unless I am forgetting something, which is possible. And Prudence was a siren. And, uh... Uh, Jebediah uh, got together with Prudence and uh, so Jebediah got together with Prudence and had Elizabeth who is now a half siren which is why he's so desperate to get her to sing like mother once did but that's just a theory let me know what you guys think in the comment section below no spoilers please and that's all I got for the day so next time we'll be continuing from this point and hopefully it'll go by a lot smoother without me missing a whole bunch of shit so there's that. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more content like this. And if you want to support me, you can check out the links in the description below to go support me over on Patreon. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching it. If you enjoyed it, feel free to show them some love down below by hitting the like button. And don't forget to check out the annotations for more videos. And I will see you in the next video.